Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'm gonna do is take you along with me as I finally get around to applying the Collagel Bloomplex and Cytoglow on my shrubs. So here's hoping it rejuvenates that area because I've had lots of trouble with it. Let's get into it. I have had major issues in my mulch bed, especially in this area right here. Everything just keeps dying. You can see how this is dying off. Um, I don't even know what those are. Yeah, I don't know what those are. <laughs> I didn't plant those. But um, because this area right here, everything that we put into the ground was dying. So we decided to put it into a pot instead. And I need to do some work on this pot. It's all scratched up, I'm gonna paint it. But even if, as I look at this plant right now, it's, it's dying. I don't know if you can see that, but the leaves are dying. So I'm gonna try the Bloomplex and hope for the best. And per usual, I, I label on the container the measurements that make the most sense to me and are easier for me to think about when I'm putting it in my backpack sprayer. So for the Bloomplex, which is an 8165, I'm gonna be putting one tablespoon per gallon of water. I'm gonna mix up two gallons based on the five shrubs that I have over there. And I'm gonna just do two gallons and soak the base. I'm also gonna go ahead and put some cider grow in there. And per usual, <laughs> I have marked on the back what I need. So I am gonna use the 0.8 ounces of the cider grow in the mixture with the Bloomplex and spray it out on the base of each shrub. I'm going to soak each shrub thoroughly with the mixture and we'll see if if this thing rejuvenates that area over there. I'm, I'm, I really have my hopes up high that it's gonna happen because I'm really working on and focusing on the landscaping within my yard this year as well. It can be a little bit difficult to measure 0.8 ounces, but thankfully I have this little cup here, this little measuring cup. I don't know if you can see the numbers on that cup, but basically th this is in milliliters and I have a bunch of these little cups that I got off of Amazon, but the 0.8 ounces is about 23 milliliters and I can get, it says 22.5 here, or 27 and then on one side I have 25 milliliters so this this measuring cup will be perfect for the side to grow. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of the Bloomplex in my sprayer first and um, I just want to like smell it see what it smells like. It's hard to describe I kind of smell a little bit of vinegar which is weird but it's not a bad smell so that's a plus. It's, it's usually pretty hard for me to believe that like such a small amount actually does something, but follow the label. Label is law. For the cider grow, it's here. Let's do the same thing. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Oh, oh that, does, that smells bad. Uh, yeah, seaweed. That's why that smells bad. So that's about how much of the cider grow will go in there. All right, I'm OCD. I'm gonna clean up first and then I'm gonna get to spraying. This uh, Abravati here has some, struggled a little bit since we've had it. If you look in here, you can see how it's brown. And it's been like that for almost four years. This side right here, it just struggles. So I'm ho I hope the Bioplex will help with that. It is actually eight days post application and i actually see some good indication that the bloomplex is working prior to putting it on i wasn't seeing much new growth on this particular plant here 
Um, this is the one that I showed you the leaf that and, and they were dying. I still see some dead leaves here, but it's not going to repair that. But it is, it has this new growth, which is fantastic. So that's a great indication that it's working. Let's take a look at the Arbor body and see if it looks any different. Okay, I think for this one, it's going to be a little bit different and harder to tell if anything's working. Um, I, I, think it, I think it is more vibrant. Um, it's not going to cure this. Actually, I probably should just try to pull that out. Um, but this is a, almost a four-year-old Arborvati that started really small. Um, and I'm not sure the Bloomplex has done anything, but if the new growth on the other plant is any indication, I'm sure it's, it's helping this Arborvati. So I'll keep an eye on it and keep you guys posted, but that's where we are. So Bloomplex application, put down and done is something that I plan to do, continue to treat my shrub area with. Um, I think it's beneficial. So there you have it. All right, guys. Cheers.